Senior members of the Royal Grenada Police Force say Spice Mask 2023 saw a high level of compliance. Three executive members hosted a press conference on Wednesday to provide an update on the 2023 Carnival operations. ACP John Mitchell, in charge of operations, commended the public for complying with the rules and highlighted the low crime and violence figures during the period Friday, August 11th to August 16th, 2023, especially among the youthful population. There were hardly any incidents or issues relating to crime and violence specifically relating to the carnival. We believe that you, the general public, significantly bought into the conversation that we had with regard to offensive weapon, with regards to misbehavior. And let me take this opportunity to congratulate our youthful population. Sometimes we leave them out of the conversation, but we did send that message out and ask our young men in particular to leave the knives and cutlasses at home. And that was very evident. Though we had a significant increase in the number of patrons on the street and at events, what we did recognize, and we did increase our searches, but what we recognize is that there was significant reduction in the amount of weapons that were found. That tells us that we had significant buy-in from the general public and in particular, our youthful population in understanding <clears throat> the importance of leaving weapons at home and the non-engagement in violence. So the RGPF, thank you. We are on the way to continued success as it relates to our youthful population and our general population uh, buying into what the police force is, is, is advertising to you. And we thank you for this. ASP Ryan Hall, in charge of the Criminal Investigation Department, emphasized that the crimes recorded during the season were not directly related to the festivities. There was no report of sexual nature throughout the carnival period, no report of robbery, one shooting incident at Mount Edmund, which resulted in the death of one Delvin Thomas, a 30 years old of Hermitage Caracu, and we have one man dozen injuries. 15 reported property crimes. Uh, these we know um, are crimes of opportunity. There were seven harm offenses. It's only two of these harm offenses being considered as indictable offenses. Throughout the period, we received several reports of what we consider little fights in some of the carnival related activities. Inspector Ryan Smith, attached to the Traffic Department, said 2023 saw a reduction in vehicular accidents compared with 2022. One serious accident occurred. 55 traffic tickets relating to prohibited parking and failing to comply with instructions were issued. We had 58 road accidents, um, one of um, which were um, a serious, and we all um, Last year, we, we had in excess of 60 motor vehicle accidents, and three of which were serious. So there was a significant um, reduction in the number of accidents that occurred on our road during the carnival activities from the 11th to the 15th of August. We also um, can say that the number of tickets um, were, um, were reduced also in, in comparison to, to last year, so we can say that there were greater compliance by the general public and we want to thank them for that.